To service or repair the seals, begin by removing the manifold. The manifold can be removed using a 17mm hex wrench to remove the four hex nuts and lock washers. To create separation between the manifold and crankcase, rotate the crankshaft until there is a gap between the manifold and crankcase. Once separation has been made, Use two flat tip screwdrivers to pry manifold away from the crankcase. While supporting the weight of the manifold, use a rubber hammer to completely remove manifold from crankcase. Place manifold on flat surface with low pressure seals facing up. Place a flat tip screwdriver under the low pressure seal and pry upward to remove. Be careful not to scratch the inner diameter surface of the seal case where the low pressure seals are located. Inspect the inside of the low pressure seal for wear or damage. Using a half inch seal case tool or T-wrench, remove the seal case. Inspect the seal case o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage, and also the high pressure surface of the seal case for scoring or damage. To remove the high pressure seal assembly, start by removing the female adapter. Inspect the inside of the female adapter for nicks or damage. Next, remove the two V-packings and inspect for damage. The last piece to remove is the male adapter. Inspect for damage. Before you install the new packings, inspect the inside of the manifold, ensuring a smooth sealing surface. Begin by installing the male adapter. You will notice that one side has four notches. This is the side that goes down into the manifold. Next, install your set of V-packings. Install the V-packings with the groove side down into the manifold, resting on top of the male adapter. Install the female adapter again with the groove side facing down. Before installing the seal case, you must first replace the o-ring included in your seal kit. Using a small screwdriver or pick, reach under the o-ring and remove from the groove. Then, slide off the seal case. Replace with the new o-ring included in the seal kit. Apply lubricant to o-ring on seal case. Install seal case with the o-ring down into the manifold and thread, then using your seal case tool or T-wrench, torque to specification. Next, install the low pressure seal. The low pressure seal contains a spring on one side. Install with the spring side facing down and press into place. Before reinstalling the manifold, be sure to replace the plunger retainer o-ring included in the seal kit. To access the o-ring, start by removing the nylon oil pan. Remove the two-piece seal retainer with wick. If replacing the wick, the retainer can be pulled apart by hand. Using a 12mm wrench, loosen the plunger retainer. Before completely removing, stop and push the plunger toward the drive end to break loose from the retainer. Next, completely remove the plunger retainer. 
The plunger retainer contains an O-ring, backup ring, and copper gasket. Inspect the O-ring, backup ring, and copper gasket for cuts, nicks, or damage. Remove the ceramic plunger and inspect for cracks or scoring on the surface. Remove the collar and check for any wear. Remove the keyhole washer and barrier slinger located behind the plunger. Both parts serve as a barrier to prevent water from entering the crankcase. To reassemble, install the barrier slinger with the dish side facing away from the crankcase. Next, install the keyhole washer. The slot can face in any direction. Before reinstalling the plunger retainer, change the O-ring included in the kit. Using a pick, move the backup ring, O-ring, copper gasket. Reinstall the copper gasket, O-ring, and backup ring. Reinstall the brass collar. Before installing the plunger, lubricate the O-ring, backup ring, and copper gasket on the plunger retainer. Apply liquid thread sealant to the threads on the plunger retainer before reinstalling. The plunger retainer can only be installed on one side of the plunger. The plunger retainer should fit tight into the end of the plunger. Install the plunger retainer assembly through the ceramic plunger. Using a 12mm hex wrench, torque to specification. When reassembling the retainer, you will notice that the bottom piece of the retainer has two tabs. These must align with the opening of the top piece on the retainer. Install the wick into the front retainer with the long tab facing down. Use the tabs on the top and bottom of the rear retainer to align and press together. Slide the seal retainer over the ceramic plunger with the long tab facing down. The oil pan has two tabs that rest in the crankcase. With the tabs sitting inside of the oil pan, press into place. Before reinstalling the manifold, rotate the crankshaft so the outside two plungers are even at the furthest distance from the crankcase. Install the manifold by hand, ensuring even alignment. Finish installing using a rubber hammer to ensure manifold is flush to crankcase surface. Install the four lock washers and hex nuts. Tighten using a 17mm wrench. Torque to specification.